I just wanted to make a quick video on the progress of my cauliflower and broccoli plants. They're all mixed together here. Um, I don't have them labeled because you know you can treat broccoli and cauliflower interchangeably basically. So I just have them all right here. I started these plants about four weeks ago in um, four cells. I put about two seeds per cell and actually all of them germinated so I had to thin them out. Once I could see that their roots were growing through the bottoms, I upped them into these bigger red solo cups. I didn't do a full 12 ounce just because I don't have room for that in my house. Um, but I did one of the nine ounces, nine ounce ones. So this is where we're working with for about four weeks of growing. Um, what I did was once once they started growing and once I could see them coming out of the soil, I put them under my grow lamp. I actually have a grow light inside of our house, in our bedroom. It's just it's the only way that it really worked for us here. And um, I put them in for about 10 to 12 hours a day under the light. Um, I say 10 to 12 hours because I'm not that consistent. It's something I need to work on. But this is the growth that we've had after four weeks. I've noticed in the past week or so that these first leaves are starting to wilt. I wasn't sure what that meant because I've never grown broccoli or cauliflower or really anything before this year. And so I looked it up and they say that once your plant starts photosynthesizing and making um, food for itself from the sun, that it, does, it no longer needs these little leaves anymore. Those little leaves are what are providing the nutrients previous to photosynthesizing. They started falling off this week and like I said I was a little worried but now I'm happy to know that you know my plants are big boys and they've grown up a little bit. Um, we passed our last frost date but in my area I'm in zone 6b and today is April 27th so we passed our last frost date but everybody keeps telling me to wait until after Mother's Day. Fortunately I don't really have that much of an issue with weeding but um, since I have the room in my house to keep growing them but if I put them outside it really wouldn't be an issue either I have all my stuff in raised garden beds so even if a frost did come it would probably hurt them a little bit maybe weaken them but it's not gonna kill them so I'm working on getting them outside within the next week so today I put them outside I've been hardening them off for Probably the past week, I just, once I started noticing they were big, I've just been putting them outside during the day. Tonight, I'm gonna keep it outside the whole day and then also throughout the night um, to see how they do. So hopefully by the end of the week or next week, I'll be able to plant them in the garden. One thing that I will note is that I did go to a garden center over the weekend and I took a peek at their broccoli and their cauliflower, which was a mistake. Um, just because their broccoli and cauliflower was very big and luscious. So I was a little discouraged about mine. I decided to talk to someone there and she said, you know, listen, the reason that yours are probably a little smaller is because you're growing them at home. You're growing them inside. Not all the conditions are perfect. And no matter what size they are, as long as you put them out with two to three true leaves, they're probably gonna make it. She said, our, our cauliflower and broccoli is huge because we're growing in a greenhouse, which, you know, I guess have a little kindness to yourself, give a little kindness. Um, we're not gonna be perfect, you know, when we're growing our seeds indoors. So this is where I'm at. I'm gonna make another video once I plant them in the garden and we'll see how they do.